Good morning, Year One. Now today in literacy, we are going to be learning about comic strips. If you know what a comic strip is, have a chat to your grown-up now and tell them what it is. If you know what it includes, maybe you could tell them what it includes as well. Just pause the video here while you have a chat about it. If you don't know, that's fine. I'm just going to learn all about it now. Okay. Now here are some examples of a comic strip. As you can see, we've got some pictures and we've got some bubbles coming out of their mouth. Some are thought bubbles and some are speech bubbles. Now we've learnt about speech bubbles and thought bubbles before Christmas. So if you remember them, tell your grown up what they are. Okay, speech bubbles is always shown in a picture and it points can you see it's got a little pointy bit at the bottom and it points to somebody's mouth to show that they are the one that's speaking now sometimes they might be shouting and they might have capital letters or an exclamation mark or it might be in bold a bit darker than the other letters or they might be thinking something this is where the thought bubble comes in as you can see in the top one it's got it looks a little bit like a cloud, doesn't it? That means that they're thinking. Okay. Here's another example. As you can see in the picture, this girl is sat on a rock. But it's not just a rock. It's a dinosaur bone. Oh my goodness. And he's complaining, I never find anything. And she's saying, oh, a penny. So that shows us what's going on in the picture. Here we've got some more. Once upon a time, a princess tried to make a comic. In the first picture, she's not saying anything. In the next picture, she says, I just can't draw well enough to make a comment. comic. In the next picture, poof. Now this is an action word. It shows the sound of something that's happening. That's not true. What? Who are you? I am the magic cartooning elf. I can help you make comics. You like to doodle, don't you? Yeah, but I'm not good enough to make awesome comics. Now in each picture, we learn a little bit more. It's a little bit like watching TV but reading it because most of the story is people talking to each other. But at the top, we've got a caption. This is where someone isn't talking. It's kind of like the narrator. That means somebody who's telling the story. Here's another one. You shouldn't eat it in the woods, Boone. Why? Hey! You never know when you'll attract a hungry bear. Hmm. Now, comic strips tell a story. They use pictures and speech, usually in speech bubbles. And sometimes a comic might use captions or onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a really fancy word for the action words that we saw before, like poof, or you might see crash, or you might see someone running fast and it might say zoom. Here are some more examples of what that might look like. We've got boom, wham, smash, pow. So today, our activity is going to be writing captions for the different pictures. Just like we saw in the comic strips, but without speech bubbles today, we're just going to be focusing on the captions. So we're going to think about what's happening in the story. So don't think about what they're saying. Just tell me what's happening, maybe. You're the storyteller this time. So we've got four different pictures. I want you to write something in each box telling me what's happening. Okay? I'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Bye!